Cancers and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from June 19th to the 25th and remember it could also be timeless. It is timeless as well because whenever you get to see this will be the right time for you and anywhere that you have cancer in your chart this is your reading. Again happy birthday to all the cancers out there. You know I wish you all the best. My beautiful CMCs uh, you know start putting down your birthday where you're from okay and find out who's your twin uh in this reading particular that i'm doing for you okay so i am going to be doing uh, the weeklies of course and i decided to also bring in the monthlies and the all signs so you're going to be seeing more videos okay in the coming months so let's get started here with your reading we're going to look at uh, your recent past your current energy and your immediate future and then i will clarify the cards and then i will tell uh ask the universe at the end uh for what you need to know Hello, my beautiful CMCs. So Pluto went, uh, actually Pluto went into retrograde uh, today, June 11th. This is when I'm recording it. And uh, it will be in retrograde in Capricorn till January of 2024. And it's all about lessons in life that we, uh, you know, lessons or things karmic that we need to release or things that we need to review. It's a very slow period. It's, it's going to bring us, we want to move forward, but it's going to bring us back again. So uh, to review everything, okay? So let's see what's going on here for you. Cards are already done. Okay, Cancers. What's going on here for you? You got the strength reverse in the recent past, the six of cups, and the queen of swords reversed. Let's look in the current energy. You got the eight of pentacles, the star reversed, and the page of pentacles reversed. Let's look at the immediate future. You got the queen of pentacles. What you don't see coming is the Ace of Swords reversed and the Four of Swords. In the overall, you got the Page of Swords reversed, Three of Pentacles. This could be around work. It doesn't have to be around work, okay? There could be some type of, uh, could be collaboration, teamwork here, or something here that uh, you were dealing with. Some type of pattern that you had to release here. I do see some type of freedom around you. But anyways, let's see. Um, the Three of Pentacles comes in, okay? In the overall, you've got the Page of Swords reversed. Not much communication going on. Someone is definitely spying on you or looking at like your social media or whatever the case is, not communicating, you know, more drawn back. In the recent past, okay, I feel like you opened your heart to the Ten of Cups here. Okay, so I feel that you were um, very vulnerable in a situation, in a situation that so much that you were vulnerable with it, uh, with the Queen of Swords reverse, you cut something through. Like there's something here that you got upset with or you were not able to communicate. Uh, and it, it took a lot of strength and courage for you to uh, maybe break free or co not communicate with someone here because in terms of the emotions, you couldn't, someone here couldn't communicate, okay? In the current energy, you got the page, the Eight of Pentacles, too, so you are working on something. You're working on yourself. You're putting a lot of energy into maybe work or something here. And uh, you feel at this time that uh, some type of wish or um, feeling like hopeless or not really hopeless, but you feeling like your faith is being tested a lot at this time, okay? So um, whatever it is, <clears throat> there's no offers coming in in a way that you want to. We'll see. We're going to clarify the cards. In the immediate future, I do see that you're nurturing yourself and I do use, I do see that you're stable here as well, okay? A good business per person as well, but you're like, I, I do see you here stable. Uh, and you're taking time out to heal, because there's some type of communication here. Something is going to be like someone here is not going to is going to be cutting out something. There's some type of freedom, or someone's cutting out something here. Okay, so let's clarify the cards.
Okay, let's look at this. So you got the Page of Swords and the Page of Pentacles reversed here, okay? So let's look at the Page of Swords reversed. What's this all about for Cancers? Nine of Cups, Ace of Cups, Four of Wands, Ten of Swords. In a situation here, if there was some type of communication that you were dealing with, okay, someone promised something, okay, you felt that there was a wish that was granted here in the situation, there is a wish fulfillment around you. There was, or there could still be is, okay, but again, what I say is I, I don't feel a communication here. Someone with Jude communication. There's abundance here, okay, in any shape, or form, and more stability around you in a situation that you were dealing with, okay, in the overall, which is tied up to your recent past here, okay, that brought that stability or some type of proposal that brought happiness, okay, and it was a wish fulfillment. But at the same time, there was a dead end with this Page of Swords. I know I'm going to ask another question. Give me another card for the Nine of Cups, Ace of Cups, Four of Wands. This is what you truly want. You want happiness. You want stability. You know, you want you want what you want here, okay? That's 100%. And it doesn't mean that you can't get it. Something is getting dropped here. See? You got the Page of Swords uh, pin, the Princess of Swords reversed and the Page of Swords reversed. Two people that are not communicating. Maybe just watching each other on social media or just spying on each other. But if not, something got dropped here. And you felt that this was in divine timing. Okay. Let's look at the recent past. Let's look at the strength. This could have happened when Venus uh, went into Leo. After, like, it, it could happen around that area uh, energy around that time. Let's look at this. There's definitely some one of your past. You're, you're feeling nostalgic about something here. You're feeling very nostalgic. Okay, and it could be, be someone from your past. It could be anybody because I don't know what your situation is. So let's look at the strength reversed. Knight of one. Knight of Cups, Ten of Wands, Queen of Swords. Yeah, you were thinking about this. Yeah, it felt like everything came into divine timing. And, okay, there was like an energy of something coming into divine, divine timing. It was destined and faded, okay? Uh, but you had you were at crossroads here. And you could have been dealing with third-party situations. It doesn't have to be just about like a uh, relationship. It could be people situations, uh, places, and stuff like that. Okay, now, uh, it was very difficult. There was a lot of obstacles in the situation. And uh, in the recent past, it, it took a lot of your strength away from you. Okay, whatever this is here. Uh, maybe there was an offer that came in, but a lot of you were thinking logically about the situation because there was so many, like, obstacles. And though that it shows a completion, uh, a lot of you were thinking logically about it. Okay, let's look at the Six of Cups. The death card. There could have been an ending here. Let's see. I need other cards here. Let me see. You got the six of cups. You got the death card. The page of pentacles. The queen of wands. Six of swords. Yeah. There could have been an ending of the past. There's something here that ended for you. Okay. Or some type of trust transformation you had to go through. Right. Um, and whatever this offer that came in here, I feel a lot of you have been working on yourself and how you see yourself, how you value yourself as a person in your work here. And you've been putting a lot of self-confidence within yourself because you are you went through a huge transformation here. And with the Six of Swords here at the bottom of the deck, it shows me that you have, you, you, you're moving on or you have moved on from this whatever situation that caused a lot of obstacles for you. Okay, um, maybe you were also in, in, at one point uh, stuck between your heart and your mind about something as well. Okay, uh, and this, there could have been a death and rebirth, but moving on, definitely moving on from a situation here. Let's look at the Queen of Swords reverse because the Queen of Swords is reversed here. You were open to communication. 
chariot you came into your own breathing the five of wands there was a lot of conflict within you around you uh, <clears throat> and energies are probably just also like an energies uh, there could have been like just a, a lot of drama you know jealousy what is this about one more card please and the empress seven of wands yeah <clears throat> there was a lot of energies but you overcame these energies it's about trusting you you had to trust your intuition you've been manifesting something here more clarity also as well uh, in your terms of gift and with the world card uh, it does show me that you completed something in the recent past 100 percent, you did okay because there was a lot of conflict here and i feel someone you're cut communication whatever this was here and uh you took your power back and you moved on okay and you've been nurturing yourself and uh you know <clears throat> and there's a lot of opportunities around you because you've been putting a lot of value into yourself <clears throat> let's look at the current energy you got the eight of pentacles here you've been working on something here putting a lot of energy into something let's see what this is eight of wands the hermit all of you have a strong virgo on your chart and a star You've been taking time to yourself in the current energy. You're in the hermit mode. Well, Cancers, you've been in the hermit mode since 2023 and even in 2022. <clears throat> uh, especially September of 2022, it started for some of you. August, September, I would say. But anyways, the case is that here is that you've been taking time to reflect. Okay, to, you've been following your own star. The hermit carries the star in the lantern. It's a wish granted. It's about you having faith and continuing forward your, in your journey and going deeper into your journey, taking time out. And, uh, you, you know, uh, so, uh, as you're going through this path, you are moving on in this current energy. You're going to a better place where it's going to be blessings that are going to be given to you. And there's something that's coming into alignment here. Okay, things are going to start speeding up around work. Okay, you're going to be very busy maybe, just in your family. Um but definitely some of you might be traveling at this time there could be also travel indicated okay let's look at the star reversed star upright that's good knight of wands ace of pentacles you're feeling stuck at times you feel that you're losing your faith and your wish is not going to be granted in the current energy and other times you feel that yes they, they you are you will have that wish granted and your faith is there okay <clears throat> there's someone that keeps coming out in and out of your life here because uh you know uh, this is what i feel here okay there's someone here that keeps coming in and out of your life and you're feeling stuck around this you're overthinking about this uh, you want to <clears throat> you want to start something new here i do see it because with the ace of pentacles there's something new this could be around work could be money could be friendship could be a relationship i don't know what the situation is here okay but you're feeling stuck about it you're in your head you want to take the leap of faith it's uh, it's ushering you to look at the now okay but a tower is going to come in something is going to come in to reveal something to you because there is going to be some type of communication coming in here for you okay so there is a tower moment that's going to come in let's look at this uh, page of uh, pentacles reversed six of cups hangman king of cups you're healing yes maybe you're feeling nostalgic at this time you're going you're looking into the past here in your soulmates and family friends lovers whoever this is for you and you're feeling confused as well because you know you have many options you're feeling confused in your emotions okay it's the emotional part because you're going through a lot here okay you're going through some type of metamorphosis or transformation and that you know it, it takes time to go through that right so even though i do i do see you whole here you're more reserved when it comes to your feelings like you're more reserved you're not going to give like the queen of cups and energy you're going to give like the king of cups i'm not it's not gender related but the king of cups are more reserved okay but they still value family they're very diplomat but they're more reserved okay and you are feeling stagnant in whatever it is that this offer what whatever whatever this is that has to come in you're feeling stagnant in a situation here okay 
it's keeping you in limbo. Let's look at the immediate future. So you have the Queen of Pentacles here. I see you being very stable here. There could be a raise or money coming towards you, okay? You've been nurturing yourself. You got the King of Wands, the Strength card, the Page of Cups. Yeah, there could, there could be an offer here coming in. You know, you're trying to bring something into balance, but um, you know, uh, there's Leo energy here, very strong. Oh, it's okay, it could be Leo. Something is, or there's someone around you that's coming towards you. Okay, uh, there could be messages here that and a lot of possibilities. Okay, and it's about you being vulnerable. There's a lot of compassion and loyalty in this situation and stability. It really talks about you taking action and uh, stepping into your um, leadership role here. Okay, it's about you taking your power back. Because I feel that there's a situation here, okay, that you've been, you're, you're trying to bring into balance, whether, whoever this is, or you're being pulled in two different directions. That has to do with the two of cups. But the thing is that it's there's a lot of conflict around this. Something someone here is not playing by the rules. It could also be that maybe you're feeling. It could be also a sense of self sabotaging it. You know what I mean? It could happen in that situation because there's been a lot of sleepless nights, nice, not able to sleep here, and not enough patience here. And I feel there's been block roads and block roads, like sense of being tested and tested all over again, and caused a lot of heartbreak, sorrow. And for some of you, might you might have to make a judgment. And someone here, whoever this is, is going to walk away because a lot of you are waiting for new and waiting for your manifestations to come in. You will have to make a lot of choices here because I feel like if, let's say, if you were, if this has to do with someone here that you're dealing with, like in love, right? I feel that someone here always made you feel that you were not good enough, or you always, or you felt left out or ghosted. Um, you, you, there was a sense of there was a lot of like conflict. I don't know. That's not for all of you, but for some of you, it could be that. Okay. So whatever this offer that's coming in, I'm just going to take an extra card here. <clears throat> Give me an extra card for the King of Wands, the Strength card, Page of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles here. Three of Wands, the Eight of Swords. <clears throat> something in this dynamic i don't know what this is is unjust it's not really in balance and there could be lies okay there could be lies there could be patterns that you're like that you're still experiencing that are coming up to the surface that you need to release and heal okay or toxic people or an obsession with someone here whatever the case is you're you're feeling stuck in you in your head there's interference here Okay, there's definitely the interference. It's something that is like long term that you wanted. Okay, is long term. There's interference. And like, yeah, like I said, there's something that's not right. Something is not in balance in this particular situation. Someone here has to still go within and heal. Okay, I do see that. Let's look at the Ace of Swords reversed. Why is this Ace of Swords reversed? Queen of Pentacles, Page of Swords, the Tower. Yeah, something's coming in to change. There's new begin. Listen, there's something that wants to be Whatever that you manifested out there, there's someone, something that needs to be, something is sprouting and blossoming. And some, with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands here, there's something new coming in. Passion for love, for life, okay? And you could be, have many options here uh, to your happiness, but you have to choose carefully. You need to cho choose carefully here because there could be confusion ar around that because of how you're thinking about a situation, if you're thinking negative about it, or there's people that are just t giving you, like, telling you things and, like, you know. So it's important to stay, uh, it's important to, uh, it's important to gain clarity, whatever it is that you're embarking in. But this is something new that wants to come in, okay? 
because the tower is coming in as you've been nurturing yourself and there's stability okay the tower is coming in why because the page of swords is here someone here could be spying on you someone here that uh, you know checks up on you uh, there could be some type of communication that's going to cause this tower moment why is this here why is the page of swords here Three of swords reversed. Three of cups reversed. Prince of cups reversed. Swords reversed. You went through this already. Some of you went through this type of thing already. Or it's a pattern, or it's a, it's something that keeps showing up in your reality here. Okay. Uh, whoever this is, the tower moment that's taking place here, and there's not gonna, someone's going to be cutting off from communication. It's because someone here is very moody very immature okay i have to say it they're not able to communicate in that way uh there, there's they're not able to offer the emotion the emotional part and i feel like you went through this already and i do feel that you've healed because something is not what it seems here there could be a lot of fear but it's something is not what it seems you don't have the clarity there's secrecy around this and things are unjust in terms of whoever this person is here for you there could be lies here. Definitely there could be lies. A lot of frustrations. And I feel that you are aware of it, Cancers. Let's look at the Four Swords. Taking time out to heal. Okay, to gain clarity here in the situation. Let's look at this four. There could be a truce here for some of you. But let's see. Two of Swords. Eight of Pentacles four swords four cups eight of swords do you see how many swords there's something here okay some of you have been turning your back on this and maybe just working very hard and not wanting to look at this or make a decision about something that you've been setting on the fence because you're trying to gain clarity here you're not it definitely here there could be two parties because i got someone here they're you, you know you're probably mirroring each other but Definitely you're feeling stuck and you're in your head about something. Or maybe you're, you know, thinking negatively about something here. But whatever it is, okay, that's coming in here, it, there's rejection. And this is, it, I feel like this took place already here for you. Okay, so there could be some type of rejection here. Okay. So let's look at what the universe wants to tell you. Because there's a new beginning that's trying to come through. Okay, new beginning for you with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands where you're not going to have confusion any longer. And some of you, this is a big lesson for some of you out there. So let's see what the universe has to tell you. Yeah, Ten of Swords reversed. It's something of the past here. Wait, it's, no, sorry, my deck is reversed. Ten of, one, ten of Swords, sorry. <clears throat> Ace of Wands two of swords yeah <clears throat> you want something long term this could be about wealth it could be about prosperity it could be about legacy the fruit of life something long term here you're going to gain the clarity as soon as you make a judgment if you don't make a judgment on something whatever it is the universe will come in and do it okay because they want to give you this new beginning but maybe this it could be a pattern that you're having a hard time letting go of okay it's nothing like major for some of you but there's a dead end in the situation here. And you know it already. Because you experienced it already. And you've been in your head about it. And there's a decision that you have to make. As soon as you make this decision, the Ace of Wands comes in. There's a new beginning for passion, for love, for life, whatever it is here. Chemistry could be something that you're working on, on your creativity. But it's here for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading, Cancers. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Bye.